Hey, what's up? It's LP and I bought the Tilta Sony FX6 Advanced Cage for my camera. Um, I've already opened this, but I haven't taken, taken anything out, but I got my camera today. I filmed the unboxing on this the same day, like literally minutes ago. So uh, I'm so excited that I couldn't wait. So I'm just gonna open this up and uh, see what this is like. And uh, then I'm gonna build it on the camera. Um, like I said, I've opened this up before already, but I haven't taken anything really out and like looked at it too much. So we've got some stickers, ABC camera. Um, I don't know, they're not really worth it. And I'll probably never use these. Uh, just some, some literature showing you how to put it on. All right, let's see, let's see what we got. Uh, it's got two 15 mil rods. I actually didn't realize it came with these uh, and I bought some other rods, but they were like, they're like a little bit longer. I think they're like eight inch rods. These are like six inch rods. Um, so put these to the side. Let's see, I've got a little rod amount adapter. I'm not sure what this is for. Uh, another one of these rod things, 15 mil rod, cause this goes on the top or you can put it on anywhere on the cage that you want. Uh, this looks one of the side brackets because you can put those 15 mil rods in like any any of these kind of holes. So we've got this looks like the top plate, yeah, you because know, there's for the focus plane. A bunch of a lot of places to put stuff, which is nice for accessories. Let's see what else. This is the battery plate. This is nice, and the battery plate has one P tap USB has another P-tap and two pin, which is really nice. This is really nice to, that it has two P-taps and the two pin is really nice because then you can put a bunch of different accessories on there if you need to. Uh, and then we have a barrel power connector. And I went, with, I went with the gold mount, as you guys know. If you've seen the other videos, I went with gold mount batteries. You can get V-lock if you want. Let's see what else do we, we got here. We've got the bottom bridge plate. This is like a lens support adapter i don't really need this i'll probably take you can actually take this off i'll probably take that off because i don't need it this is cool this is for like a wireless receiver so you can put it on the side of the camera and then just mount your wireless receiver on there like this like on the side it's pretty nice um, let's see i've got all the tools and the mounting hardware it's nice that it comes with its own tools honestly i think that's it yep that's it Throw that down here with the rest of the trash. Um, so I've got my camera here. I'm actually gonna put this thing together. Um, I'll speed this up so it's not super boring, but uh, I'm gonna try and figure out how to put this thing on here real quick. I think, yeah, I guess you have to put the top plate on first. Yeah, looks like you gotta put the top plate on. Oh, and you have to take this monitor cable thing little cable holder off first too. So I'm gonna have to get my my precision tools. All right, got my little precision tool kit. These are great to have. I talk about this in the AC kit, one of the AC kit videos, and this is why it's great to have them because you never know when you're gonna need a tiny screwdriver. There we go. that to the side. Oh, don't lose that. All right, I'm gonna unplug the monitor. Let's put this top plate on. Looks like it has four screws for it. Let's get these out. Assuming it's these four big ones. All right, here we go. Now we can get started. I'm just gonna like loot, like just barely get them to the end, and then I'll tighten them down once I've got them all in. Fourth one. 
This advanced cage was actually only like, how much was it? 250 bucks or something like that. And it comes with that battery plate. It's pretty cheap and it's nice. You just need something to put, you know, accessories onto and like to have alternate power because I'm not going to use the Sony batteries. I'm going to use my gold mount batteries. There may be occasions where I might use them, but mostly not. All right, that's looking pretty good. All right, now I think I can get this side one on here. Right, there we go. Well, I can put it on, then I'm going to put the bottom plate on. All right. Looks like I need to use this other Allen that it comes with. I'm just gonna just get it started and get this next one. For a while, I wasn't really a fan of Tilta cages and accessories. They were kind of just poorly designed. Like, especially their like Alexa mini one for a long time. It was just so annoying because it had the, the sliding plates and stuff and all these little things you could put on it that were like mostly useless. So they just got in the way more than anything. They were really annoying. And there wasn't many places to put stuff on the camera because of the way they designed it. It was really annoying. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take this. I'm gonna take this uh, mount support off because I don't need it. Some like, you know, more expensive mounts have a way to plug in with this support on the bottom. So if you have like heavy, big, heavy lenses, it'll help support it. So it doesn't mess up your camera mount or your adapter. But this adapter is so light and, and my lenses are so light that I don't really need it. Oh, so it's got the two already captured. They're like capture screws inside. That's nice. Flip this upside down. I like this one. Give it a nice tight. Fit. So this plate, you can buy a, an actual like bridge plate to slide onto it, like a dovetail that'll slide into into this. Um, I don't really need that for my setup. I mean, this is plenty. I mean, this camera is not very heavy, so there's really no reason to have like a, a you know a foot long dovetail when I can just go straight in with the per tripod plate on the bottom and then you know can slide it up forward and backwards on the tripod most likely. Nice, all right, let's finish up this side plate here. With the last, these last two screws. And you can take off the rosettes too. It's pretty modular. You kind of take off a bunch of the pieces. If you don't, I did buy some handles by Shape and they'll just go right into these rosettes. Uh, those are back ordered still, and I ordered them the same time as the camera, so hopefully they show up soon, but all right now let's put this battery, figure out how this battery plate goes. Okay. Okay, and then this last screw, it looks like, goes in here. I don't know why it's a different size. They could have made it the same as these ones on the side, but whatever now it means you have to have three different size allens to adjust something or you want this to be secured anyway because gold mount batteries can be heavy the ones i have are pretty light um here let's check this out there it's in there and plug the plug the power in on the bottom here I don't know if you can see that. Boom. There we go. Just tuck that in. There's the cage. 
And I'll probably take this wireless bracket and probably put it right here. See, well, which one of these do you have to have? Okay, here we go. I'll put it a little bit. Can you put it down there? Looks like you can. I'm going to put it right here. I'm going to go grab my Teradek transmitter and a battery, and we'll actually power this camera on for the first time. See how everything works. All right. I don't need the side handle. Let's throw the monitor back on. Oh, that's nice. The monitor swivels both ways. Did not notice that. Okay, it goes along. And then it has cable management right here along the side. And I took that one off, but that's okay. So does it go on either way or one way? Oh, one way. Here we go. There we go. And then it's in. Nice little cage to add some accessories. They do have a top handle, the metal top handle. I may get it. We'll see how this one holds up because this one does have some some quarter 20s on the top if you need to put like a monitor or something like if you want to, don't want to use this monitor and you have another onboard you can just put like a Noga arm and arm it out if you want which I may end up doing but we'll see I like how small the goal mount plate is it's really nice it's really small it makes the camera even lighter and more compact okay I'm back and I have my battery click that on boom oh and it has a little LED indicator it's got power it's nice. Clicks on nice. All right, let's see if this transmitter will fit on here. Oh, look at that. Is it gonna fit? I don't know, it might not fit. Oh, there it goes, it just barely, long, like, thick enough. It's snug. It's real snug in there. But it fits. It's secure too. That's nice. I like that. Because now I don't have to have an arm on there, like arm it out somewhere. Just stick it right on there. That's pretty nice. And, you know, and then I can just cable up and I can get my P-tap or my two pin power. I wonder how much this weighs. I'm going to weigh this later on and see how much this thing weighs built because I want to get a a gimbal, it's a little heavy, the battery. Oh well, we'll see. There's the cage. Uh, and the, let's put the rods on. Oh yeah, I almost forgot about these. Uh, I actually might put those, the one of these on top for my focus motor to go on the top instead of having to use that plate. So if like I'm, you know, trying to shed some weight, I can lose this bottom plate, this whole thing, which is probably a lot of weight. And I don't have to worry about my focus motor because I can put one of these, one of these things for the 15 mm rods on the top. Is this not the right one either? Uh, come on. Okay, here we go. And it has the pin in it, so it stops this, this uh, rod mount from spinning. Oh, uh, there we go. That's nice. Oh, is this going to get in the way? I might have to go on the other side because the sound the sound inputs might get in the way. It's going to be, yeah, they're in the way. Let me go, I'll have to go on the other side. And this is a, a good way to build your cameras so that, um, like I said, you can lose a, a bridge plate if you need to, if you're like going on steady cam or something or on some kind of gimbal or a jib or something and you need to get rid of that bottom plate for whatever reason. A lot of times lately now, I've been putting my Focus and Iris motors on the top. And it just makes a cleaner camera build. So I think that's what I'm gonna do all the time with my, my FX6. Oh yeah, so we're clear here. Just slide that on. I will have to come back a little bit if the map box is going to fit with this lens. Come here. And then I can just hang my motor down here. I'll go get a motor. Didn't plan on doing all this on this video, but I'm just too excited. So here we go. I've got my Nucleus motor. 
you haven't seen that video, check that out. So now I can take it, I can hang it upside down, I hope. I've got my 15 mil adapters here. Yeah, here we go. Nice. All right, let's see here. Bumped the camera. Sorry about that. All right, here we go. Just slide it back a little bit. I'm going to try to get it up so it has less of a pivot. Um, look at that. That ain't going anywhere. There's my camera. I have the map box. Should I go get the map box? Maybe I will. Then it'll be completely built. Minus cables. I'll get the map box. All right, here we go. Final piece of the puzzle. I got my tilt clip on map box. Um, I did a video on this too. I don't, I don't know if it's out yet or not, but if it's not, look out for it. Nice little clip on. Ooh, it's kind of touching here. This. I might have to lose this, this cable management bracket on the top here because it's just hitting that. This lens is a little short. And I think some other lenses are sh this short, shorter than this. Yeah, it, it fits. Yeah, it fits. It's good enough for now. Well, there you go. It weighs it out. Now it'll sit flat. Get that tight on there. Boom, there we go. That's the final build. Again, minus cables and antennas, but that's it. It's a little heavy. It's probably around 15 pounds, I would say. But I can lose that bottom plate. It's nice, and you know, if I'm doing it, I can always get rid of the matte box if I don't need any filters. So yeah, there it is. There's the FX6 Advanced. Tilt a cage. Cool. I'm gonna do a video on my entire camera package with this fully built out, decked out. Um, you know, and I'll go through all the gear that I've chosen and and what I paid in total for everything. Um, so yeah, if uh, subscribe if you want to see that video and uh, click that notification button so you know when it comes out. But uh, yeah, that's kind of it for the tilted cage. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, it was a little on the fly, so it's a little messy. Um, let me know in the comments below. Uh, thanks for watching. Going off walkie.